Hi, welcome to another technical review. This time for the Lumens VS K20. This is a compact serial camera controller useful to adjust the pan, tilt and zoom of a camera. We will also review the Lumens VC HDRX, which is an HD base D receiver useful to extend the connection to the camera using only one cable for power, video and control the camera. My name is Enrique Verdugo from Orion Applied Technology and this is our technical review series. In our previous video, we reviewed the Lumens VC-A70H, a 4K camera that features ultra high definition and an inbuilt HD based tip transmitter. Let's use this camera to connect all these two devices. I'm going to introduce you now to the Lumens VS-K20 compact camera controller. This controller works with the protocol Visca and Perco D. The controller comes with the connectors on the RS232, RS422 and the power terminal and comes obviously with the 12 volt power supply and its connector. Firstly, we are going to connect the RS232 terminal into the RS232 input of the camera. Then we are going to connect the power into the controller. As you can see, the, the controller is asking for a user pin. The user pin by default is 11 one 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 and the controller is ready to start controlling camera one as you can see here we can have immediately control over the camera we can set up a few features of the controller by going into setup it's asking for the administration pin which is exactly the same as the one we did before which is one 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 and then we go down to time settings where we can actually set up the time. So we go escape, go back. We got the option to choose where the time is displayed or not. We can change the volume setting. As you notice, every time I press a key, there is a beep. We can change the behavior by increasing or reducing or completely turn off the volume of that feature we're going to leave it off by now after we change we press enter and then we move into the next one then we got the keyboard light backlight is currently on we can switch it off or we can leave it off as we want press enter um, we can have also the sleep setting which will turn off controller after a given period of time which currently is off we can have the sleep setting into 60 minutes 30 10 1 minute or 30 seconds or off currently is off so we'll leave it like that enter Pin setting, this is the administration pin to access the controller, which is current by default 111111. If you have a need, you can change it here as well. And after a time, the manual recommends to do a joystick calibration. That can be done on this uh, setting. And we can control the speed setting for the controller, low, middle and high. If we want to restore the settings to the factory def default, we can do it here as well. To exit the menu options, we can go escape and then we recover the control of the camera again. There are two ways to call up presets. One is just type in the number and wait for a few seconds. or we can go for the number and then 
call and goes immediately into the position. We can program a new position as well by positioning the camera and then we can actually set it up in position number two which we go to and set set preset number two so now we can actually move from one to two and three we can freeze the controller so we can move the camera but the image doesn't change we can freeze again and then we can recover the control of the camera we can do the mirror if we want to invert or mirror the scene we can even switch off the power and then we can turn it on after the booting sequence the camera will give us the image again we can control the backlight to adjust environment conditions of the light. One feature that we can actually use as well is to control the brightness of the image. We can use it directly from the control by using the bright minus and the bright plus. Minus will reduce the light and plus will increase the brightness of the picture. And the last function that we can access from here is the menu of the camera itself by pressing the menu button and then we use the joystick to control the items then we press enter to select we can use the menu to go back and exit we are now going to introduce the VC HD receiver. We have for this terminal we got the DC in, which is the power for the camera, the connection for the HD base T, the infrared receiver to send the remote control signal. We have the HDMI out for our capture card and the connector for the VSCA controller or the RS-232 controller plus the status light and the power line okay so far our camera has three different wires the power we got the RS-232 control which goes to the VSCA controller and we got the HDMI cable which goes into the, our capture card we are going to simplify the connection of this camera to send only one cable which is going to be HD base T and is going to replace 1, 2 and 3 HDMI RS-232 plus the power through one cable let's do that we are going to turn the power off the camera remove the, the connector from, from the camera for the RS-232 and we are going to insert it into the RS-232 VSCA in we are going to remove the HDMI cable from the camera which is connected to our capture card and we are going to insert it into the HDMI output That will do for this side now we are going to use this cable which is 20 meters of cable to transmit the camera to a far location we are going to connect this end into the HD base T
and we are going to connect the other end of this cable into the HD base D connection of the camera. We are going to connect as well this infrared receiver. And we are going to connect the power of the camera. This time, instead of connecting directly to the power, we're going to connect it into the power of the HD receiver. As you can see, the camera power ups immediately. And we can see the actual connection of the video as well. We can control the camera now from our controller with everything We can make use also of the remote control to control the camera, pointing the control into this um, receiver. So the remote control is also working. And also, as you can see, we have, we have the HDMI output coming out into our computer capture card. So we have 20 meters now away of the camera and the only connection to the camera is the base D connection. Full control and full quality. Thank you for watching this video. If it has been useful for you, please like it on our Facebook page and also follow our page for future videos. Orion Applied Technology represent and sell lumens, PDZ Optics, New Tech NDI, Hinogeny, and several other brands, all with Australian cell warranty. If you have any question with any of our products, talk to us. We provide full technical support for all our products. We design and build custom-made video production system, fully installed or do it yourself, with full warranty, training, and technical support. We also offer streaming services for your special event, weddings, school plays, funerals, or any event that you want to share with a close group or to the world. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more videos, connect to our Facebook page below. I'll see you next time with another interesting product. Bye for now.